into the day of Tuesday, March 16th, uh, 2016, March 15th, I should say, yeah, Tuesday, March 15th, 2016, uh, I went to bed just about, um, uh, Just about, uh, yeah, just about, uh, just about, uh, five hours ago. My mind is off. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just got to transfer a, f a couple of video files over to the system. And then uh, upload it to uh, YouTube. So uh, that's what's going on now. I am without a doubt unbelievably tired. But. Uh, <laughs> I do have to upload this video to uh, YouTube in order to get things done. mistake so I'm gonna have to correct this here I found a way of correcting it without being too difficult I was supposed to copy files from one directory into another so I could bring it over here and then upload I'm on the system that uploads to uh, YouTube uh, but I forgot to put, I usually put everything in the same directory, but I forgot to do that, so. Oh, when this is done transferring, I'm going to have to uh, go over to the, another, to the next, to the directory where the folder, where, where, where the uh, files typically are, and then bring them over. Mm. And this is typically what happens is that uh, my day is is typically thrown off. It's always it's, it's it's usually thrown off like this. When I've pulled an all, almost an all nighter or, or very long hours, and then the not necessarily the next day, but. It, I don't sleep properly. This this is the whole thing. I'm not sleeping properly. My mind is overtired. And uh, when I go to sleep, the dreams are bizarre. Really bizarre. They're worse than they usually are. And that kind of keeps you thinking. And 
you haven't fully digested in your mind all the information that came in. So there's kind of a backlog of things and your mind is trying to organize uh, everything you've researched. All that information. And it really uh, kind of uh, uh, slows things down in terms of uh, how you function. So, yeah, uh, uh, Let's see, it's just about, yeah, it's still about noon. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit after noon. It's, it's uh, 1245, yes, yeah, 12 hours and 45 minutes into the day. Let's see, I went to bed at 7. So we're approaching 6 hours of sleep. And that's, that's, that's not, uh, it's not bad, but it's also not good uh, after the level of exhaustion that the body went through so uh, and if you do this on a regular basis uh, like more than once a week or <laughs> once a month for most people then it starts to catch up with you and this is the sort of the results that you see here as um, sort of living proof and if you also notice I put the camera in a different position so uh, I don't have the uh, light uh, that's next to me uh, uh, Overload in the sensor, so it's not really bright in one area. It's a better, uh, it's a better color mix, if you will. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm getting the vlogging done. Um, uploading the way it should be uploading. So now it's time to uh, get work done the way you know. No, get work done. It's progress is occurring the way I hope it would occur. So now, tonight, or today, oh, I finally will get to, just like I did before, I was, you know, trying to, every day, trying to get to the uh, filming of, uh, of Tweetline Plus. Today will be the first day I, I actually put together Tweetline Plus. Uh, and it should be a pretty pretty interesting ride, so uh, take a look for that on uh, Cyborg Galva TV Network. It will be, everything is going to be on Cyborg Galva TV Network. Uh, look for that to pop up. And uh, it's not necessary for everybody. If you're the type of person who is inquisitive and wants to sort of dig beyond, then this is going to be the type of show for you. This will sort of get you into more advanced knowledge. Uh, but if you're not <laughs> the type of person who's uh, interested in uh, things that are uh, uh, off the beaten path, you know, in other words, this is not mainstream media. We're not doing what everybody else does. Uh, we are looking at things that, that many other people are looking at, but we're not looking at it in the manner that the average person is looking at it, or the average, uh, let's just say, uh, journalist would look at it in, in terms of what you get from ABC, NBC, your major, your major media outlets, uh, whether, they, whether they're corporate or government-owned. Uh, they're pretty much all in the same uh, boat. So... Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this here for now. Uh, I've got to transfer the next set of files over and uh, then upload. And the battery's kind of dying, so I'll, and I've got to upload to YouTube. I will see you when I get up, and we'll go from there. All right, take it easy. Well, relatively speaking, good morning, everybody. Relatively speaking, because it is just about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it's still Tuesday. <laughs> this is, this is going to be, this is where, we, if you're getting confused, this is where things are going to be a very long day. Because you know I got up uh, just around uh, 12, 31 o'clock and uh, worked on, on, the, on uploading, some, uploading a video to uh, YouTube. That took about a half hour or so. I didn't get it back to bed till about one one thirty. It is now just uh, ugh, about three hours later, and I'm getting up. So it's uh, time and date stamp. It is fifteen hours and fifty five minutes into the day of Tuesday, March fifteenth, uh, two thousand sixteen. Uh, and I'm actually gonna get. Re I'm, I'm getting ready now to go food shopping because food shopping is on the schedule. You know you. I said the, the mundane stuff has to go on. It, you don't stop the mundane stuff because, uh, you know, 
you too tired or whatever that thing that still has to go on uh so i'm going food shopping now uh and when i get back uh, i'll let you know about the peripatetics the uh, uh the thoughts i was thinking the, the, the f different philosophies i was going over the you know the, the philosophical work i was doing and uh you know we'll take it from there so uh uh, I'm gonna leave this short now because this it's gonna be uh, uh I'm gonna be saying I'll be sort of vlogging on my way out right as I get dressed and then um, uh, go from there. Uh, but it seems to be rather warm outside. It's like 46 degrees, so I'm not gonna dress too warmly. So uh, we'll see when it ends up happening in terms of uh, how things end up working out. Alrighty, I'll uh, talk to you in a bit. Well, needless to say, I'm just getting back. Uh, let me quick, give you a quick time and date stamp, uh, date and time, time and date stamp. Before I forget, it is 17 hours and 49 minutes into the day of Tuesday, March 15th, uh, 2016. Yeah. Uh, the weight on my back is, is still rather heavy. Uh, so... Depending on how, feel, how you're feeling and how tired you're feeling, you, you either feel it's more heavy or less heavy. When I'm feeling good and my body's well rested, it's not that heavy as, as I can do it. Uh, I'm working off of very little sleep now. Uh, I haven't had a proper sleep. Uh, I haven't eaten properly because uh, when I do the uh, research, when I'm going through these uh, uh, sources that I have to vet, to have to sort of uh, examine and analyze. Uh, I don't eat. I forget to eat, uh, and I'm not. And actually, when I'm doing the analysis, I'm not hungry. Uh, I guess it has to do something to do with the the adrenaline that that pumps you, that pushes you through. So by the time you you you, you you're done, and I didn't finish last night until oh, six six thirty in the morning. It takes about an hour or so. For the adrenaline to sort of pump off, to 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 drop back, uh, and you're then relaxed enough you can go to sleep. So it was like 7:30 before I ended up actually falling asleep, and then uh, around 12:30 I got up to uh, uh, to upload the uh, next uh, uh, episode of uh, Big Bang Theory L BTS vlog. So that's what was done. Now I just did my walk. Uh, I left just about uh, four o'clock. It is ten minutes to f to six, so I got two hours. It's an hour there and an hour back with uh, uh, all the materials. So an hour with all, all with the close to uh, I would say uh, I would say take a five gallon or a twenty liter gallon uh, twenty liter uh, jug of water. Twenty take it. <laughs> Take a 20 liter or, or 5 gallon jug, fill it up with water, and lift it up to see how heavy it is. That's what's on my back on a weekly basis uh, 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 for about an hour. So needless to say, when I get in, I am extremely exhausted. But, again, it doesn't matter what the temperature is outside, I'm sweating. I, this, is, this is a heavy sweat uh, just from walking. And so I'm gonna have to change and everything. I have to, but I still have to put the, the uh, I still have to put the, uh, the the food away. But at the same time, uh, uh, well, not at the same time. Afterwards, I have to change. So, but it's uh, getting warmer outside. This is a good, somewhat a good thing because I don't have to wear as many layers. This becomes a problem as. Uh, the body heats up, the boots create somewhat of a vacuum inside, and it's almost impossible to get, particularly for the left foot for some reason, it's impossible to get the left foot out of the boot. So you have to <laughs> finagle it a little bit. And of course, now the boot's in pieces can be put back together again, but it's in pieces right now, and I'll put it back together uh, in a little bit of time. 
So, what was I thinking about on the way home? Well, I'm working on the show Tweet Lines, Tweet Lines, uh, Tweet Line Plus, and Tweet Line, yeah, Tweet Line Plus. And a lot of it's good. Is there's a lot of intelligence work that's coming into it, a lot of intelligence a a analysis. Uh, and so you're looking at things like Alex Jones, Glenn Beck. Now you're not supposed to be if you're a proper mainstream media outlet doing proper journalism approved by uh, Columbia uh, Columbia University. You shouldn't be going anywhere near Alex Jones or Glenn Beck. But they are a factor out there. They, they, it's it's to ignore what they're saying. Not that you're going to agree with it, but to ignore what they're saying is improper research. As a physicist, you don't do that. You bring in all the possible sources, then you sit down, you go through them, you take your notes, you do the analysis, and then you allow the notes and observations to dictate what's what. In other words, you don't go in there prejudicially and say, okay, I'm only going to listen to this section of information because that's what I agree with. You don't do that. You allow the information itself, you allow the notes, the observations, they're what dictates in comparison to other sources, which it dictates what is true and what's not true, or what's probably true and what's probably not true. And this, this is how this work is done. And it is long hours, because if you want to look at a story, you have to look at the background of the person, you have to look at the history of the person, what have they done, what, who, who are they, what the behavior is like, what do other people say about them, you know, and in other words, you have to put together sources on the person you're, you're trying to look at. So not only do you have sources for the story, but when you go back, do the background research on the person, you have to find sources on that person as well. And each one of those sources have to be vetted, they have to be analyzed. And so, did that last night till like 6 o'clock in the morning, so my peripatetic, my, my philosophy of, of walking, uh, the thoughts in my mind were all about that today. They were just sort of uh, how I digest the information that comes in, what are the possibilities. And of course you go through these possibilities one by one, and uh, uh, let me get back here, it's time to go back to the mundane work of uh, putting things away. and. Uh, eventually sitting down on the research desk and uh, adjusting my notes. So that's what's going to happen next. So I'll see you on the research desk, desk in a few, uh, uh, about a half hour, 45 minutes. And we'll continue the rest of the day. <laughs> but we'll see how long it takes me to actually get really tired and, and for the adrenaline from, from walking to knock off. And if it drop, knocks off too far, then I'm going to have to go to bed. And that's sort of, that takes care of the day. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I will see you in about half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, the soreness from walking is starting to kick, is starting to kick in. So, I think I have about a half hour left of reserve and I think that's going to be it, so... It is 20 hours and 25 minutes into the day of Tuesday, March 15th, 2016. Yeah, it's just about 8.30. Uh, I think the my energy levels will last till about 9 o'clock. I've just got a little bit more work to do here. Uh, I got... I, I'm, I, consider this. Before I was promising, I'll, I'll get to the videos, I'll get to the videos, I'll get to the videos, I'll put it up... In, and saying I have to work this into the uh, videos into the schedule. Guess what? Uh, while I was sitting here having uh, a, 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 a something to eat after I a, after I walked, uh, I uh, finished putting up another video. So I am now on schedule of even with the heavy day the way it is today. Uh, I was able to get the next episode of. Uh, uh, Big Bang Theorel uh, BTS vlog out. So, uh, that's a positive thing. That, 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 that progress, you know, as, you know, progress is rough. It's, you see how I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, and more often I'm failing. But at some point in time, because the progress is bit by bit, this is a small amount of progress each time, there's a tipping point where I make it. And this is the perseverance of research. This is the perseverance 
that you need to sort of continue forward and and bring to the game, if you will. Well, if you want to view it as a game here, uh, you can certainly do that because this is very much like a video game. Because everything's on the computer. Uh, so you, it's like leveling up. You're, you're, you're finally moving forward. So uh, the Big Bang Theorel uh, BTS Logs is now uh, routine within the schedule now. I am, you'll see as this comes up, I'm vlogging more. I'm vlogging more of the day. So you're seeing a, a, a wider variety of backgrounds rather, backgrounds rather than just my bed. So hopefully, you know, you know, bit by bit, we'll start making improvements in here. We'll start get, you know, uh, getting uh, new areas filmed, uh, new segments coming in, uh, so that so, to vary things up to make it uh, more of, I don't know, a, an enjoyable show. I'm also trying to watch my cadence, the way I speak, uh, the way my presentations are, because I've seen some people who uh, their their discussions is they're boring. In other words, it's just one monotone type of uh, voice, and it, this the, the I'm talking like this, and, and like, like you know, and it's it's, it's, through, it's like two 15 minutes worth of video, and that's all their voices. There is no uh, sort of personal interaction, like you know, uh, this this is this is my culture. We speak with our hands, and so there's a lot of hey, how you doing, my name? You know, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of excitement, excitement, and enthusiasm. Uh, in the speech, so there is a lot of liveness uh, to you know because of the, this is what vlogging is. Vlogging is a virtual visit, and this is what I use uh, my, uh, my my YouTube TV. I've cut cable. I'm no longer on uh, cable TV. I uh, and chose instead just to have a high speed internet. And YouTube is primarily the channel that I watch uh, is the service that I use. And uh, uh, I know there are other vloggers out there. I go by to check out my the, the vlogging channel that I started off with. Uh, when I started this channel out, I started was watching a, a, a girl named Cassandra. Uh, she had a channel named Nerd, uh, called Nerds RL. I still go by there. She's uh, doing very well. Uh, she's not vlogging as much, but uh, but still, you know. And the thing is, I like I said before, I like shows like Disney. I'm like an infinite kid. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be uh, basically between. The ages of eight and fourteen for the rest of my life, uh, I sort of circle back and forth between the two different uh, between the two different ages. So I'm an infinite tween, and I found that there are family shows, families who do vlogs, just like like a family show like like uh, Liv and Maddie, like you see on uh, Disney Channel, uh, and actually I like them. And then this is the one, one, one of the main one I didn't watch is Brett Taylor, and Brett Taylor had all her. She's got her all her uh, her friends are now all uh, um, are all vlogging. This is the girl Annie that I watched on Brett Taylor. All her friends are vlogging, and so is now they've got a whole bunch of channels I can go watch, and it's like it's like watching Disney Channel. There's a whole bunch of Disney Channel shows, uh, type of shows I can watch uh, on YouTube. So in terms of missing. Uh, Disney Channel. I really don't miss Disney Channel. I don't miss uh, Nickelodeon that much. Uh, I can also get the shows, these shows from Disney and Nick off the internet, so I can download them and you know put them in my personal library. You know, not to share them at all, but to put them in my personal library to sort of uh, enjoy them whenever I want to. And so th having uh, YouTube and my uh, my own library of of, of shows, uh, there's uh, no need to go back to cable. Matter of fact, I have more content. Uh, with with the anime that I watched too, I have more comment uh, content uh, on IPTV than I do um, anywhere else. So, and this is one of the things I'll be talking about more. I'll be talking about open IPTV uh, and, and the difference between uh, uh, open IPTV and regular IPTV. Regular IPTV is because the cable companies realize they can make a lot of money off of this. Uh, so that's what's happening. You have places like Netflix who charge a lot of now services, including Hulu Plus. They're all charging for their IPTV, their television over the internet. Uh, what I'm interested in, and this is where uh, all the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network is going, we'll be working on a product called Open IPTV, and the whole purpose of Open IPTV will to bring a open and free source. I mean, there's not going to be any subscription for this at all. 
bring an open IP, uh, a IPTV choice that is free and open. This is the whole goal of uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network and the uh, product that will emerge from it uh, called Open IPTV. Uh, anyways, watch for that. Uh, <laughs> you know, so I, 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 guess I enjoy, I enjoy my IPTV. I, I enjoy it like this. Uh, is significantly uh, cheaper than cable. I find I have more content on Open IPTV than I do on cable. So I think this is a, a good choice for me. And oh, sorry. I want to see if other people would be sort of the same mindset that they would find Open Eye TV better than paying for uh, their their service the way that they pay whether it's through a cable company or through um, like some place like Netflix or Hulu Plus or whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave it here for now. Uh, I feel things starting to go down. My adrenaline's going down, and. I think in about a half hour, around 9 o'clock, I'll end up heading off the bed. So, anyways, uh, I will see you uh, not at the bed because I'm going to go right there and just go to sleep. But I will see you uh, in the morning when I get up again. Or I might get up in the middle. I, I might get up in the middle. I might just go down for four hours and then I'll get up and do something else. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. So, so I'll know what I'll, what I'll see. I'll see you the next... Uh, this will be our standard refrain. It's their, our standard ending. I'll see you in the next segment of the BTS Vlogs. All right, take it, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.